and my anxiety I haven't been abiding in the vine but tonight tonight I'm crossing over that bridge I'm crossing that bridge I'm never going back to that place again if that's you I want you to raise your right hand really high so I can see it all over the room all over the room if you raise your right hand I want you to step out of your seat I want you to run to this altar right now don't hesitate come forward right now God is going to heal you God's going to heal you tonight he's going to heal you tonight he's going to heal you tonight come closer many are coming your hands. Pull me closer. Pull me closer. When I lay hands on you, you will never be the same. You. Love is God's healing you. I'm disappointed, sir. Because you have prayed not see the answer she prayed for years and you question your connection with God and the Lord said that's a lie I'm breaking that treaty God says I'm breaking that alliance tonight you're going to rise up you're going to rise up, man of God. You gave your heart completely to me. You gave me everything. And it was sincere. And religion has lied to you and tell you you had to perform in order for me to like you. I'm smiling at you right now, sir, says the Lord. I'm smiling at your, at your, even your weak commitment honors me, says God, even tonight. That's why I'm changing you, Father, from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Touch him right 
now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now, sir. God's touching you right now. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Lisa. Sing it out. I want to know his heart. here tonight you've been panicking really I, I'm not I, I, I'm not joking you've been panicking over issues if you'll just lift your hands God will deliver you right now he will deliver you right now he will deliver you right now right now he will deliver you right now he will deliver you right now, you right now. I need an usher to stand behind this woman Shut my casing. I'm gonna snap my fingers, and every chain of your life is going to be broken right now in the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now. Shabba koshata. Shabba koshata. Where's your friend? Put your hand on her heart. If I get someone to put a blanket over her, that'd be great. Just to know your heart. The Spirit of the Lord would say to you tonight. I will no longer allow you to be unequally yoked. There's an emotional connection that I'm cutting off right now. I'm saying to you, that connection is not feeding your soul. And tonight, I'm connecting you with the life source, ma'am. And it should feed your very soul right now because you've attempted to do things in your own strength and it hasn't accomplished anything. That day, is finished tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There it is. There it is. God's touching you right now. God's touching you. This couple right here. It's your wife, sir. You two come in. Grab each other's hand. Congregation, stretch forth your hands to them. The Spirit of the Lord would say this to you. Daughter, tonight, you're not measured by what you do. You're not measured by your work. You're measured by my work. And you have felt like your entire Christian life, you've had to be something that you did not want to be. And God says, I accept you. I accept you and I accept the anointing on your life. And the Lord says, daughter, the reason why you haven't seen the miracles, the signs, the breakthroughs is because you have been comparing your anointing with someone else's anointing. And the Lord says, daughter, in my eyes, the anointing that I placed on you is beautiful. You understand this? 
Paul the apostle gets the credit for the signs, the wonders, the miracles, writing 14 books in the New Testament. But let me tell you who's honored in heaven. It's a man by the name of Ananias. Ananias had the faith to prophesy over a man that everybody was afraid of. And the Lord says to you, daughter, you're going to go to people that most people are afraid to touch. Because daughter, there is an anointing on your life. You may not speak before hundreds, but you'll go to that one and that one will be impact for eternity. And your reward is great. Because you know what? I don't want you to worry about the results. Because the results are up to me, says God. You just open your mouth. Son, you have been loyal under pressure. And because of your loyalty, I'm increasing the anointing on your life right now. And because of your loyalty, son, The, amount, the, the mantle of a good shepherd shall come on you. Because you won't shepherd people to have a title. You'll shepherd people to heal and lead the sheep. And the Lord says to the two of you, because you're real, because you're authentic,